okay, and our delta F max curve. So what we have basically is the signal power at the phase, de uh, phase modulated, demodulated output is given by this expression. And we saw that our noise power spectral density at the phase modulated, demodulated output consists of this. We integrated from minus B to B to get this expression. And we figured out that when we take the ratio of our this ratio and uh, P out over P and, and P, we have this expression. Lots of things cancel out. And now we're left at carry to N multiplied by SN squared multiplied by delta phi max squared. When we do our f noise signal to noise uh, ratio of the phase modulated signal, basically we're taking our at the discriminator output, the signal power output over the noise power output. We have this expression in the base on the previous two slides. Hence our figure of merit is the ratio of this divided by the ratio of carry to noise, which leaves us with this. And basically what it says is in order to improve my figure of merit governed by this ratio of ratios of signal to noise ratio of the power mod, uh, phase modulated signal and the carry to noise ratio of the input, we need to have a wide phase uh, deviation. And it governs it by the squared. So in other words, the output signal to noise ratio is proportional to the square of the modulation index delta phi max. Therefore, increasing phi max increases the phase modulated output signal to noise ratio. So as we increase phi max here, we increase our signal to noise ratio, which is a good thing. Okay, so that's just once again showing how we derive our power output divided by the NPM, giving this final result. So the bottom line is that we need to have a wide phase deviation, okay, for the phase modulated case the high signal-to-noise ratio case so that we can get a good signal-to-noise ratio.